Hi, welcome to the Oliver Fetter YouTube channel. Today, I am taking my VW 1.6 liter turbo diesel for a test drive. It's an exciting day because this is actually the third or fourth tune I am going to try. So this is actually a fully electronic VNT turbo that I've retrofitted with an Arduino. And the Arduino takes two pressure signals, one from the intake and one from the exhaust, it takes that information and then moves a linear actuator which actually controls vane position. And it rips really, really good right now. So I'm excited to try this next tune. Currently what we've had on it for a tune is that I have two knobs on my dashboard. One controls our minimum drive pressure and one of them controls our target boost pressure. And so when you turn up the drive pressure knob, it basically closes the veins and that's had really nice responses around eight to 10 PSI of drive pressure. Uh, it's been very, very fast like that. But if you have eight to 10 PSI of drive pressure and all you're doing is cruising, it's kind of weird. This next tune we're trying is actually a little bit of a linear approach. So when drive pressure is three or lower then boost pressure should be about three. And then as boost pressure increases, we're actually gonna linearly increase drive pressure limit with boost pressure. So what this should allow us to do is have that off throttle, nice cruising kind of feel with minimal turbo restriction. And then that heavy on throttle, potentially very highly boosted feel. Cause the thing is when you're really on it too, you actually kind of want 10 to 15 PSI drive pressure. You don't want five. Five PSI drive pressure is not a party zone. So we'll be trying that tune out today. I have to upload it to the car real quick. And then the whole reason I'm holding this microphone really weird like this today <laughs> is that I'm actually gonna take this mic and I'm gonna stick it right here next to the air intake. And we're gonna see what the car sounds like as we're test driving it, as opposed to me shouting into the camera like usual. Off we go. So a little bit of how this mechanism works. Arduino is actually right here. This breadboard is just to organize some wiring. And this is a thermocouple that we just added. And then these two knobs are what I was speaking about. This is drive pressure limit and that's boost pressure limit. So right now, when you turn the car's ignition on, it's actually running power out of this USB outlet over here. You can see we're steady. So as you turn these knobs, it actually adjusts our pressure limits, which are, would be hard to see from the camera's angle, but I had it at about five and 17. This is one set of code and it works really well. And I'm excited to try this at autocross as well. Just run it with a certain pressure. But today we get to load in a new kind of code. And to do that, all we got to do is fire up the computer. And instead of plugging this into my car's power source, I plug it into my laptop and upload the code directly to the Arduino. Okay, well, I had to go and find where a missing curly bracket was, but lo and behold, it is now working. It's always the first way you try it the fourth time. This now compiles, it's good to go. I'm going to upload it. The light blinks. And we just wrote a new tune to the car. Let's freaking go. All right, at any rate, I'm gonna go ahead and clip this on the air filter.
certainly learned a few things today. For one, that tune is gonna need a little bit of work. I feel like the fact that the drive pressure is based on the boost pressure kinda works. It almost, it seems like it worked better when it was just fixed, but I hopefully will be able to jump between tunes uh, while at the autocross and see which one works best. And then the other thing, of course, is that my actuator keeps falling off of the turbo vein lever which is not helpful so i just lose control of the veins purely because i haven't found a clip that works very well on it yet get a little clip rooney spring something literally anything to hold it on there you're supposed to use a sir clip but it's hard to find the right size so at any rate doesn't look like anything else blew up today so <laughs> that's good thank you so much for watching hope you have a good day out there cheers matt